Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the determination of molecular weight of solute from Raoult's law. This is a very small derivation and frequently asked in examination and a numerical problem related to this topic is also asked in examination. So in this video, we will learn how to calculate the uh, molecular weight of solute by using Raoult's law and we will see a very important numerical problem related to this topic as well. So let's start. In my previous video, I have already explained about the lowering of vapor pressure that is Raoult's law. If you haven't watched that video already, please check the link in the description below. You will find the link of that video over there. So according to Raoult's law, let me write it over here. According to Raoult's law, what was the statement of Raoult's law? According to Raoult's law, the relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to the mole fraction mole fraction of solute so this is the statement of raoult's law and we derived a mathematical expression for this statement as well and that mathematical expression is the relative of the relative lowering of vapor pressure is actually uh, given by the mathematical expression P minus PS by P. This is the relative lowering of vapor pressure equals to the mole fraction of the solute. So mole fraction of solute means N1 by N1 plus N2, where this N1 is the number of moles of solute and N2 is the number of moles of solvent and N1 plus N2 means total number of moles. And this is the mole fraction of the solute. So we got this. Now look at here. Uh, if we consider very dilute solution, very dilute means if uh, the amount of solvent is very high as compared to that of the solute, then what will happen? The number of moles of the solute in the denominator can be neglected because it will be very small as compared to N2. So let me write it over here. For very dilute solution, for very dilute solution, N1 plus N2 is nearly equal to N2. In the denominator, we can neglect this N1. So this expression will become P minus PS by P equals to N1 by N2. Equation number 1. This is the equation number 1. Now we need to consider some more term over here. Let, let W1, W1 is the weight of solute. This is the provided weight of solute. M1 is the molecular molecular weight or the molecular mass of solute. Okay, solute. Similarly, W2 is the given or provided weight of solvent, and M2 is molecular weight or mass of solvent so these are the four terms that we considered over here now look at here there is n1 and n2 n1 means number of moles of solute n2 means number of moles of solvent so n1 uh, has a mathematical formula that is w1 by m1 so in place of n1 we can write look at here p minus ps by p is equal to this expression can be written as p minus ps by p equals to in place of n1 we need to write w1 by m1 w1 by m1 divide by in place of n2 we need to write w2 by m2 right now this expression can be written as w1 by m1 is equal to let's take this value to this side w2 by m2 into p minus ps by p this is the required mathematical expression. Here, this P minus PS by P is relative lowering of vapor pressure. W2 is the given weight of the solvent and M2 is the molecular mass or molecular weight of the solvent. W1 is the given weight of the solute and this M1 is the uh, molecular weight or molecular mass of the solute. So, among them, if any data is not given, then we can calculate that by using this formula. Okay. We can get the value of this 
W2 is the provided thing and if we have if we know the solvent then we can actually calculate its molecular mass or molecular weight and if we know the given weight of the solute then we can calculate the value of molecular mass of the molecular mass or molecular weight of the solute as well. So this is that uh, relative math this is that mathematical expression that is used to calculate this value. Now if you just find the value of M2 then what will how much will it be? Sorry, M1, M1 will be equal to, it will be W1 by W2, this will go this side and these two will come this side, P minus PS by P. And there is this M2, M2 will come over here, M2. We can use this formula to calculate the value of M2 as well. So I hope you understood how we calculate the value of M1, that is the molecular weight or molecular mass of the solute by using the Raoult's law. Now let's see a very important numerical problem that is frequently asked in the examination as well. The question of the numerical problem is the vapor pressure of water at 20 degrees Celsius is 17 mm Hg. Calculate the vapor pressure of 3% W by W solution of urea. Molecular weight of urea is given to be 60. So first of all, let's write the given quantities given so here we can see over here uh, the 3% w by w solution actually means 3% w by w solution of urea means 3 gram of urea is dissolved is dissolved in 3 grams of urea is dissolved in there is percent percent means 100 so 100 minus 3 is 97 gram of water to make to make 100 gram of solution so this is how you need to understand okay 3 percent w by w solution of urea actually means that 3 gram of the urea is dissolved in 97 gram because 97 plus 3 will give us 100 right 97 percent of water 97 gram of water to make 100 gram of the solution so this is what we need to know now let's write the other given quantities from here what do we need to know what do we, what can we understand see urea here is solute and water is the solution sorry solvent so molecular weight of urea that is w1 is given to be how much 60 mass of urea that is m1 is given to be 3 gram molecular weight of water that is w2 is how much 18 right and similarly mass of water is that is m2 is provided to be 97 gram and similarly this pressure value is given this is the pressure of pure water right so this is p is equal to 17 mm hg and we need to calculate the value of ps so these are all the given quantities now we can apply the raoult's law from over here according to according to Raoult's law so we derived a formula from the Raoult's law that is m1 by w1 is equal to m2 by w2 into p minus ps by p this is the formula that we derived from the Raoult's law right now let's put the values over here m1 means how much 3 by w1 means 60 is equal to m2 means 18 by 97 sorry 97 by 18 97 by 18 into p means 17 minus ps by p means 17 so we get this much now to get the value i am directly writing the value of 17 minus ps okay 17 minus ps will be equal to these values will come this side and it will be 3 by 16 into 18 will go up 18 by 97 97 into the 17 will also go up into 17 and if you put this on calculator then you will get 
जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव सेवन जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव सेवन और सेवेंटीन माइनस पी एस देयर फोर द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एस कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाई टेकिंग पी एस टू एट दिस साइड एंड दिस टू दिस साइड सेवेंटीन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव सेवन एंड इफ यू पुट दिस अन कैलकुलेटेड देन यू विल गेट सिक्सटीन पॉइंट एट फोर एम एम एच जी सो हियर वी कैलकुलेटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी दैट्स ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव यू अंडरस्टूड एवरी थिंग अबाउट दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो एज मेज एज यू कैन एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो